Hello, Nick. Hello, how are you? I'm too good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. No, it's our pleasure, actually. Welcome to India. Oh, this is awesome. This is my sixth time to come to the beautiful country, but definitely my first time and not my last time in Hyderabad. Last? Not but my not last. the last. That's right. First, but not the last. <laughs> yes, but you have a lot to experience yet. Still, how far you're liking India? Oh, I love India. I love the people, the hospi uh, hospitality and the food's amazing. I know I haven't tried all of them <laughs> yet and, and the dishes, but uh, it's wonderful to be here. And tomorrow uh, we're going to Guntur. So uh, we're, we're on a tour to inspire as many young people of India as possible in a very short time. That's my hometown. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> So good to have you here. You know what, uh, after sitting and right now starting off, I truly believe inspired even without starting off the oh. interview. That's the aura you're carrying around. Thank you. So, Nick, uh, you give a lot of speeches. Uh, you inspire a lot of people. But uh, how do you perceive life? For me, it's definitely understanding uh, that the first decision we must make is to have an attitude of gratitude, to be thankful for what you have instead of being angry for what you don't have. And then also in the understanding of life, sometimes you may not understand a lot of the unexpected seasons of life. I think the last several years, I think we've all gone through ups and downs and depression and anxiety and so many other emotions in us. Um, and really, um, we are human beings with human feelings. Yes. And so when we go through struggles, it's 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 for me making sure that my heart and my mind are connected, that I'm present, that I'm going to do my best, but if I'm not feeling good today, um, you know, I'll give myself a little bit of permission to maybe retract or, or you know, internalize some things, but eventually you have to come back to life and and engage in the world and and see that whatever we see isn't a limit. Um, it's just a process of becoming resilient as we face resistance. Well, uh, wonderfully said. But uh, coming to the point where you started your life, it was not an easy path at all. Every step must have been very tough. So what was that crucial turning point of yours that turned you into this amazing human being? It was definitely a journey that started with my mum and dad planting seeds of love, saying, you're beautiful, don't worry about what the future looks like, just do your best. Uh, in fact, in 1989, I was supposed to be segregated into a special needs school. Uh, but my mum went to the education ministry and uh, actually opened up the integration for children like myself. And so I had a lot of opportunities to, you know, progress. And I'm so glad to see the progression here with the uh, government of India and the education system here and the awareness of people with special needs. And uh, uh, for me, it was, it was realizing, yeah, I had no arms and legs, but it was difficult when I thought it was a big deal. And it wasn't a big deal from my perspective but from everyone else's perspective, it seemed like a big deal and that I wasn't normal and maybe I wasn't good enough. And these, these things of, of, of thoughts, fears and emotions stood through me as a young kid and uh, yes. definitely felt lesser of a person. Definitely felt that maybe I should be doubting my future. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm never going to be happy. Maybe I'm never going to find true love and, and really find my place in this world. And so... It was definitely a journey, a long journey, um, but really, even with the attempted suicide at age 10, yes. um, it, was, it was a moment in my life where I just wanted to give up because I couldn't see any good. I just want everyone to know that, yes, when life is hard, it doesn't mean that this is the end. If you choose to stay, uh, beautiful things can come from your broken pieces when you give your broken pieces a chance. and so. Um, I actually played soccer at age 13 and hurt my foot so bad um, that I was in bed for three weeks and I realized I have a choice, either to be angry for what I don't have or be thankful for what I do have. And that's when the undergirding foundation of the attitude of gratitude really came in my heart and my mind at age 13. And so 
that was the stepping stone, getting out of depression, being thankful and focusing on those good things, um, talking to people with my feelings, and also realizing that there are other people in the world who have it worse. And how can I actually make the world a better place? Um, it's amazing what happens in the mind when you actually help someone else in need. It really is amazing. Yes, absolutely.